We live in difficult times. In this, the era of the cinematic universe, the TV of our childhood has begun to seem disjointed and nonsensical. That's why we, the Space Jam Continuum podcast team, have taken it upon ourselves to fashion a coherent cinematic universe from something that was simply never meant to be one. The Looney Tunes and Merry Melody's franchise. So join us for an epic tale of interdimensional travel, secret government agencies, monkey mayors, unsustainable welfare states, submissive dogs, escape tunes, regenerating pigs, questionable employment law, trouser hams, sentient eggs, malformed puffy doe trotters, demarcation and poor kind family drama. There's a long road ahead, so why not join us for the ride every Wednesday on Kaiju FM, or wherever you like to listen to podcasts, as we try to create one exhaustive, cohesive Space Jam continuum. Let's find out all of your tricks of the trade. So tricky. All the, we, we know what you're generally good at, your general areas of strength and weakness from your uh, scores, but now we're going to work out uh, exactly the, the talents and skills and, and special moves that you bring to this heist. You all get uh, three slots, in effect, which you can fill. You can fill uh, those either with a special move, a signature move, uh, which only you can attempt, uh, you can fill it with a talent, which is a particular area of skill in which you get a bonus to any roles that you do that relate to it. You can fill it with an element, which is a situational element where you are particularly strong. Uh, or you can fill it with a gadget, which is a an item that allows you to do things you wouldn't normally be able to do, like a lockpick, that kind of stuff. So, who's got a good idea of what they want their tricks of the trade to be? Uh, yeah, I can go first. Nice. What are you taking? Okay, well, uh, do an easy one first. I'll take uh, one gadget Okay, to be so, decided on later. Yes, so uh, we, we can define gadgets right now if you want to decide exactly what it is, but you also have the option of just saying, I have a gadget, and then when it comes up in the game, when you decide you need one, you say, this is what my gadget was. Okay, I think I very much have just a gadget at yep. this point. Good stuff. Um, then I was thinking for a talent, um, emergency upcycling. So basically, uh, MacGyvering things. So if I if I need to repair a bit of machinery or equipment or sort of repurpose something to meet our needs during the heist, I was thinking sort of plus one to that. Yep, very good. Would that uh, be a roll against brain? It depends on the situation. Okay. It's not always going to be the same stat, I don't think. Okay. But whichever stat you're rolling against, you'll get a plus one because it's your talent. Great, okay. It, it kind of depends. If you're if you're trying to do it quickly under pressure without anybody noticing that you're meddling, that would be cool. Uh, okay, yeah. If you're doing it in order to uh, like manipulate how people... like You're trying to sort of... Um, uh, loop the security cameras or something. I feel mm-hmm. like that will be more of a wiles thing. So okay. it's going to be situational. But whichever way, you'll get plus one. Great. Okay. Uh, and then for my third option, I was thinking of a signature move. Uh, I'm here to help. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm honestly here to help. I'm on your side. So this was sort of like I was thinking where I'm sort of trying to um, deceive people into thinking, you know, I'm, I'm actually sort of on their side. Um, if they've got a problem, oh, I'm the person who just happens to be there to solve it. Yeah, um, so it's like, so this mar- this move triggers when you, you go into like a room full of uh, bad guys and claim that you're the fixer that's there to sort the problems that they have. It's, maybe you're there to take down the people trying to grift them and they'll all believe you if you succeed at the move. Excellent, yep. Around the table we go? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I would like very much to have a signature move named Quick Spin in a phone box. Very nice. <laughs> How does that work? Uh, so it means I have the ability to disguise myself at very short notice and with very little resource. Yeah, so basically any time that you need to blend in in some way, you need a uniform to blend in with uh, with a crowd of bad guys, Yeah. or you need to suddenly be like uh, a visiting dignitary or something like sure, that sure, sure, on sure, short sure. notice, you just have to roll cool and on a success you whip together a quick disguise. Yeah, I feel like nine times out of ten it's just going to be a high-vis jacket. <laughs> yeah, Because that gets and you most places. High-vis jacket and a clipboard. <laughs> and yeah. a clipboard, exactly. Yeah. yeah, the all-purpose disguise. Very nice, you have that. Thank you. And I would like um, two talents. Okay, what are your I talents? Can, well, I couldn't choose between them, which is why I'm going for two. Um, forgery. Yep. So that could be forging anything, pretty much. Yep, IDs, signatures, deeds, anything you like. Yep. 
Does it stretch to like art forgery and stuff Absolutely, like that? Absolutely, well? yeah. Yeah. Uh, and hacking. Nice. Because mm. I like a tapata tapata <laughs> <laughs> on the keyboard. You're going to be the one in the van outside the. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> but I mean, now you can just hack on the fly, can't you? you? Can. With phones and iPads and yeah. things. So, a forging, hacking, disguise expert. I'm very multi talented. Amazing. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so you can just dis- like disguise yourself to get into the place where you need to do the hack. Yeah, exactly. Very good. Cool. Dave, what have you what are you taken? Um well, uh because we decided that I was so cool, I thought um <laughs> I would take the ability to be the Fonz and uh if I come up against any kind of technology that's on the fridge, just give it a little little bash. So the funny thing about that is is not it wouldn't actually be wouldn't a roll be cool. against cool. No, It'd be a roll against the muscle. Fonz is cool. <laughs> he is cool. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so if you do the thing the Fonz always did with the jukebox yeah. and just hit the technology and make it work. If in you... doubt, give it a clout. Yeah. So if if Ellie tries to hack something and doesn't do very well, you can just hit it instead. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then and give it a sideways work. thumbs that and off we go. That would be so <laughs> insulting. <laughs> For like three hours hacking something and he just smacks it on the side. It would be like uh, you, you got the jar lid started for it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, it's so cool. So you um, can fonds the technology. Yeah, my second idea doesn't really have a name. Yeah, I've written Lucky Break, um, but kind of the idea that um, if something's going really badly, something just quite fortunate could happen and turn that around. Yeah, so basically we, we're going to define this as if you're in a life or death situation or like immediate danger of being arrested, captured, mm-hmm. that kind of thing, uh, you can roll this lucky break and see if uh, suddenly you fall through a trapdoor or something. I don't know. Like, yeah, or like if I was falling, we said like falling down a lift shaft or something, suddenly actually I get stuck by my belt on the exact floor <laughs> we were aiming for. <laughs> yeah, that kind of thing. So you can, you can turn bad situations to your advantage. Yeah, and the last one was just to have a, a gadget also nice. undefined at the moment. Cool, so you're going to define that when you need it. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Last one, Josh. Well, Mr. Games Master, I would like to go for a gadget. Yep. And I have defined my gadget. Okay. As a grappling gun. Very nice. As a grappling gun <laughs> to gain access to far away places that I might not be able to reach and to climb up the side of walls in an Adam West Batman side of building kind of way. And then um, continuing the Batman theme? Continuing the Batman theme, I've gone for an ability that I've called Smoke Bomb, <laughs> which is not a gadget itself. Does not constitute a physical. You don't actually have. Thing. A smoke I don't bomb. have a smoke bomb, but if I yell "smoke bomb," <laughs> uh, I can hopefully create enough of a distraction from an individual that I'm talking to to escape from a situation that I don't particularly want to be in—a a, a social situation rather than a physical yeah. one. Yeah. So I think we'll say this is uh, it triggers when you you want to um, uh, escape from unwanted attention. So it doesn't necessarily have to be like a one-on-one social situation. Mm-hmm. It could be like. You're in a crowd and you can see that like the bad guy team is is closing mm. in on your position, you can just slip away. Absolutely. In my head I've got the the, the, the Assassin's Creed thing of putting my hood up and just blending <laughs> in with the passing group <laughs> pilgrims, you know. Yeah, fair um, or like you say, the, the, the great Batman gambit of just disappearing mid conversation <laughs> with somebody <laughs> when they turn their head for a split second. So rude. Very rude. <laughs> Very rude. Uh, and my last one. Did we, did we work out if it was a skill this or... This is a talent, a, I, I believe. write a talent down. Master of Puppets, I've called it. And that is just, uh, uh, I think, a straight um, a, a ability increase. Uh, it's, yeah, so it's a, it's a plus to do with manipulation. Yep. Yeah, whenever you're trying to manipulate somebody into doing what you want mm-hmm. them to do, uh, potentially against their own interests, <laughs> uh, yeah, you get a plus one to that roll, whatever stat you're rolling against. Excellent. Nice. Okay, so we have Wily Batman... <laughs> I'll take it. We have lucky jukebox smasher. <laughs> uh, we have a forging hacking master of disguise, uh, and Mr. Charles from Inception yeah. <laughs> meets MacGyver. Yeah, <laughs> perfect <laughs> team. <laughs> uh, heavy mix. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited to see what kind of grift you pull off. <laughs> if we pull it off. If we pull it off at all. <laughs> We're doing it for Lulu Bagoo. <laughs> You've been listening to Merely Role Players. You can look us up wherever you find podcasts, on Twitter at Merely Roleplay, and at facebook.com slash Merely Roleplayers. Reviews and kind words are all very much appreciated, and we hope you'll join us again for our next episode.